Hey guys, it's Ruben, and welcome to Dream Alone on the PC. Uh, the game comes out in a month, April 12th to be exact. And um, I was given this game, or provided the key for the game, by Mikal at Fat Dog Games, so I want to thank him for that. Uh, what can I say? Um, it, this game is a 2D action platformer, apparently. But it's got this dark twist and it's like completely noir. Like when I say noir, it's like everything's black and white. There's a bit of color here and there, but it's like most of the game is just dark, super dark. And I'm excited to check it out. I am playing on, um, I'm playing using a PS4 controller today because it allows it. And we all know when I play using a mouse and keyboard that I suck pretty badly. So hopefully this goes well. Let's do it. New game. For some reason, you have to press square to initiate things in this game, but hopefully it goes well. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a village where people lived simple but happy lives. He doesn't look so happy, man. A small boy and his family. But then the village was hit by a mysterious sickness. People, wow, really? one by one, went into a coma. What about his sister? Wow. Parents. Only the small boy was left alone in despair. Then a black bird appeared. It was a magic. Yes, a black bird. And he told the story about Lady Death could stop the disease and even bring people back to life. The boy left the village seeking Lady Death, the only one who could help him. Hmm. So he's actually gonna go and check out Lady Death. Wow, wow. Dark forest. The forest was dark and there was only one path leading deeper and deeper into the wild. Alright, press any key to continue. Hopefully they teach us. Oh, okay. It says A to jump, but I have to press square. It's weird. What a weird game, okay. And he floats. Do you guys see that? He floats. Why is it so dark, man? Like, do you guys see this? This game is entirely dark and I can't like change the settings. No. He <laughs> this kid floats, wow. Land is full of traps, every step can be the last. Okay. This is weird. Is the game going to be this dark the entire time? Is that a trap? Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, never mind. I got to focus here cuz I can I can barely see this stuff. I mean, it's an interesting visual design, but it's like, come on. Does do they have to make it this dark? Is there any like light I can use? Yeah, there's the pause menu. Just goes back to the main menu, huh? Alright. Fine. Oh, there's another trap. I have to criticize them about this. This is really frustrating because I can barely see anything in this game. So he floats. He's like a, a winged creature. Alright, no worries. I don't even know if you guys can see this. This is retarded. Like, I understand they're like, I want to make a new, uh, what is it? Type of game, new type of concept and stuff like that. But like, come on, do you have to make it this hard? Tick, enemy, you cannot fight with him. Be careful. It is covered with venom. Okay. Music. There's no audio settings or anything like that either. Huh. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. This guy floats when he jumps, that is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, 
if any anyone's watching in the stream, let me just uh, get my Twitch chat up again. Yeah, if anyone's watching in the stream, what do you guys think of the game so far? Like, for me, oh, almost caught me. For me, it's just the game is so dark, and you die in one hit. Okay. All right then. Interesting. Yo, come on, man. Can you not fight? No. Yeah, I saw you coming. You gotta be careful, those things that one hit and you're dead, so I'm not gonna take that chance. No, sirree. Oh, it is retardedly dark in this game right now. Does he take fall damage? No. He's basically Superman right now. Takes no fall damage. Oh shit, this is a bad scenario, man. Oh my god. You gotta be like precise with these jumps. Okay. It's like he's a vampire, he just jumps. And he's like, I'm coming to catch ya. Um, the jump is a, a little bit weird when in these moments when you when you're going on an incline. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense to me. Hopefully. It's like he can fly. Look at the floatiness of that jump. That is retarded. I mean, I say retarded, but it just seems... Oh, God. I won't have to, like, look close at my TV, because I can't... I can I cannot see this. This is retarded. Okay. How am I supposed to make that jump, then? Can I fall down here? No, that's death. Oh god, what have I gotten myself into? Can I jump off the wall? Oh, he, okay, he can climb, okay. Why don't they ever make that so clear, man? Oh my goodness! Okay, so it seems I'm gonna have to jump grab onto the ledge right jump there let the spiders come toward me jump back got it you coming you gotta be joking how, like how far do you want me to jump Weakling kid, it's all your fault. Oh. oh. Okay, made it. Yo, come on, man, that is so cheap. It's basically. Ah, oh, my God, it's a first time trap. It's like a first timer's trap right there. Beginner's trap. You're kidding me with this game right now. Just fall off, everyone. Just die. But we gotta be careful here. These idiots come out of nowhere. Okay, they're coming. Imagine if there's like a time attack in this game. That would be ridiculous. Floating. Nice. Alright, so we made it to the next section. What is that? It seems like a potion. Or some sort. You've gained a power to enter an alternate version of reality. Remember this? Remember? They spell remember wrong. The time you can spend there is limited. It's circle. Oh, wow. What is this world? It's all yellow. Oh, gee. That's creepy. 
does it regenerate? Because I'm kind of stuck here. Oh, okay, never mind. You have to push the block. Okay. Can you please climb? Dude. <sighs> okay. Yo, he won't climb. What is this garbage? Okay, there we go. Man, he moves so slow. Look at this. Any faster now? Can we run? Running would be amazing. Nope, doesn't seem like it. We'll just have to take this. We got some more potion. We use that. Alright, no worries. So basically, it's like puzzles. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> this game, man. Take the potion. We're not using it right now because we don't need it. We'll save it up. So you basically go into this, goes into this dimension, this shadow dimension or whatever. And we actually get color. I wish it was the other way around, where when we use the power it turns dark, because I, I don't like... It's not that I don't like it, it's just... I gotta squint my eyes and look real hard to make sure that I'm not dying. Oh, we can push this. Oh, okay, never mind. Push that. Can we push it off the ledge? Ah, oh, it looks like we can. And it's not there anymore. Okay. And we're good, we made it. Catch it. This is such a weird game, weird concept for a game. Why make it so dark? It makes... Oh, you dicks! Of course, of course they would have spiders. Why wouldn't they? Gotta jump back. Spideys. Oh, they move back. What if I did this? They go away. There, there's one more. I know there's one more. There we go. I see it. I see the jump pattern. Nice. Such an awkward game, honestly. What are those skulls? What the heck? It's a ghost. You guys saw that, right? Like, it's a ghost. There's a bone here. Oh, no! That just happened. Yeah, I can't go into that phase. Oh, okay. You just have to be quick enough. Oh, shit. Is it over? Please tell me it's over. Alright. Cool. So far, it's a uh, it's an it's an interesting game, but I I don't know, man. There's a lot of things. Ah. Ooh. Can I hit that? What does that do? Makes it go away. Oh! Oh my God! I was supposed to use that to get away from both of them. Okay. All right then. 
All right then. Use it. So those little ghosts, they tell you what they are. You know, they're like traps or something like that. They'll tell you. It's, the, my one huge criticism is there's no background music. It's just ambient rain sound, which gets boring after a while. I'm going to be honest here. Uh, but on that, it's okay. Uh, I really do wish it was a little bit more... Like the... It's just black and white, you know? And it's so dark. I can barely see stuff in this game. Oh, wow. Okay. Give me that. Can I push this? Yes, I can. I just wish the game had a little bit more color, you know? Or just increase the brightness, add some more white areas to the game. Because right now, it is extremely dark. And I understand they're like, oh, we gotta go for the whole horror, horror aspect and all that good stuff. That's great. To go for it. No one says no, you can't go for the horror aspect. But why do you gotta make it so dark? I don't know. Ooh, right here. Oh! What was that thing? Seriously. That's death. <laughs> oh my god, I fell into a stupid trap. I think I should just stick to Dark Souls 2, Bloodborne, Devil May Cry, you know, games um, that I can actually play decent at. This is, uh, this is something. Alright. Are you happy? I jumped very precisely again. Shouldn't be any problems here. Oh, I forgot about that. I forgot I have to do it in one sweet motion, otherwise it won't work. Mmm, okay, okay. Alright, no worries. I'm like an idiot. This game's pretty, uh... Okay. Made it. Alright, let's go through and not get killed. The important stuff. Oh! Oh my god. That's a far, like a far jump. Okay. I've got a lot of things to say about the game already. A um, few, few nice things, few bad things, but um, hopefully, because it's, it's a month away from release, the game. Hopefully they, they do better. Hopefully they increase the contrast levels in the game because right now I can see I can't see shit. I can barely see in this game. And that's a problem. Look, I can't jump either. And I got killed. Just uh living life here. Going to demon mode or whatever this mode is. Everything just <laughs> goes red. Bright red. Alright. Jump. Get out of there. Let's use this. See what it, what's the situation like. Oh. Oh my god. Jump.
Come on, spider. Don't got all day. I can't jump there. Alright. What about this? Still can't jump there. Oh, but I can jump up there. Oh, before it runs out. Come on, hurry up, hurry up. Nice. We made it. Yo, what is this? I don't have any more juice. Oh, okay, it's just... See, that's the problem with this game right now. It's... You can't tell when... You 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 know when it's like this black and white you can't tell when you're near a rock or you're near something that's gonna kill you or when you're near some trees or bushes like the game it's it's frustrating in that aspect and that's what bugs me it's just like come on oh that's death oh wait that's not death that is death though <laughs> that's death on a whole nother level right there. Alright, so we got some potion for us to do some magic here. I just want to get to the other side quickly. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Jump. Perfect. Use it again. Uh, let's jump down. What kid? Oh my god, it came out of nowhere, man. Yeah, the devs are definitely getting a strongly worded letter. Or email, whatever you guys want to call it tonight, it's happening. The game has some serious issues with its, um, not the camera. The amount of camera that they've given, or the amount of field of view that they're given here, is fine. What's not fine is this. Okay. Jump! Get out of there! Kid! Oh, I need to get this though. Shit. Shit. Okay, that's as far as it goes. Okay, perfect. I can get out of this. Alright, push that up. Nice. Hmm. gonna kill me right we're actually safe there move you oh my god this is so frustrating it is uh it's something all right Okay, it's lifting its arm up, and I gotta, I gotta do this in phases, otherwise the game's just gonna screw me over. Come on, one, two, three, pull it back up. Okay, perfect. No. <laughs> really not. Uh... The hitbox for that spider is ridiculous. You gotta be very meticulous with your movement here, otherwise it just grabs you, it just kills you. Right, move it in there, move it in there. Oh my god. Okay. It's all your fault, kid. You deserve this. Yeah, come on. Anytime now. Oh, we're finally done. We're free. Let's get the heck out of this spider place. It's spider infested. Oh, we're done. A brother and a sister went through silent woods and marched through the swamp. Little boy and little girl were tired and hungry. Then a lady dressed in black appeared. That's death, of course. Wild berries. Don't eat these berries, children. 
don't believe a stranger in the marshes. What, they turned evil after eating it? Is that what happened? Swamp. Deadly water, poisonous plants, and strange creatures traps. Traps everywhere. You know what I would like to be everywhere? More color. More, uh... I don't know, not... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Sometimes this is extremely dark. I can't see anything. At least this place is a little bit more, I don't know, differentiated with some white. But the previous location, man, it was super dark. Super brooding. Am I dead? I was like waiting, I'm just like, what happened? I couldn't tell if that was a cliff or if that was a rock. You see what I mean? That's the problem with this game. It's it's easy to mis mistake what's not. How do I say it? It's easy to mistake something for a rock or. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Hello? Please don't. Hello? How am I supposed to get away from this thing? Ah, oh, it's a bouncy pad. Alright. The new mechanic there. Oh. Yo, what the hell, man? I jumped perfectly, cur like, perfectly. It still wasn't enough. Checkpoints are great in this game, just that I can feel it. Fly. Flying. Can I jump over here? Yeah, I can. Alright, perfect. Nice. Oh, bees! I wonder. Are they gonna kill me? Yeah, they are. So what the hell? How am I supposed to get through that? Go. A little bit more. An inch further. Don't die. Alright, we made it. We're out of here. I wish there was just a teensy bit of color here and there in this game. Why can't I... F oh, I was gonna say, I'm just like, why is he stuck there? Didn't make sense. What is this? You have a power to create clones of yourself. Remember, every clone will stay only for a short time and perish forever. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah. Like, how long can I use it, though? It doesn't tell me. What? That made no sense. What did it... What? Can I jump over him? Yeah, I can. But there is no reason to use the clone there. I'm gonna have to jump over him. There's no other way. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> oh. Man. That seriously bugs me on so many levels. Okay, so basically get there. Oh. Okay, so when you use a clone, it seems that the enemies get you get their enemies' attention instantly. That is great. So I can just basically use that. I need to just, the jumping in this game is just awkward, beyond awkward. I can't move. You gotta be joking with this game. We got a lot of things to say at the end of this uh, video, or I say video, but this stream about impressions, what I think about this game. Definitely good. It's just, goddamn, sometimes it can get annoying. Okay, made it. Can I use it again? No, doesn't do anything. 
All right, no worries, no worries. Jump, do the Superman fly. Another one. Compared to the the sound effects and everything, the music is just really low. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. How long is it gonna stay? Go, 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 go. Shit. I have an idea. This is what I should have done. I should have waited to get it down and then do it and then jump on it. Smart, smart. That's a smart idea. That's a clever puzzle. I think there'll be a lot of switch puzzles with involving that, I guess. Shit. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm... How am I supposed to get out of these locations, man? Yeah, I, I have a problem with that. I totally have a problem with that, because it's not fair. He can't jump a certain length, so once you fall down, there has to be a way to get back up there. Otherwise, what's what was the point of that? It's just a it's just a way for them to say, here's a here's a free death for you, or you know, we take a free death out of you. I don't think that's right. He's gonna die. Or maybe not. Kids got some guts. Let's do this. Yup. Whenever he lands, like, it just, you hear a crack on his foot. It's like, like his knees just shot up straight into his face. Broke him. Okay, so this is what I had to do the entire time. Just get to the next switch one by one. That's why I needed that. Okay, got it, got it. Alright. We don't have too much left, so we're gonna have to rely on this. Come on. We made it. Ooh, that feels good. We made it. Are we done? Please, let that be the last sequence. I'm dead. Yo, it's the kids. I'm dead. Where the hell am I? I can't move. I... Are you kidding me? I can't. Yo, the game glitched. Go back to the main menu and come, here, come back. I don't know what happened there. I have to restart the whole level. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, game, I think we're done. Like, you glitched me there, and you're expecting me to play the entire thing all over again? Um... Uh, I don't know about that. That really doesn't gel with me. No. I'm done. I got an idea what this game was. We're good. I'll think about it. Where's the... Yeah, there we go. Back to the main menu. Alright, so guys, that was Dream Alone. And what an interesting game. It is a 2D, dark, and nightmarish looking uh, platformer. Okay, so let's talk about it. Uh, you are extremely vulnerable in this game. You can you take one hit and that's your death. You're dead. There's no lives. There's no power ups or anything like that. You take one hit. That's it. You're dead. You can't survive it. So in that aspect, it's extremely punishing because it's a trial and error based thing where you gotta make sure you do everything in the level flawlessly. There are checkpoints, certain checkpoints throughout the level, but you also saw there are glitches. So if you quit to the main menu you have to restart the whole level all over again and that is i don't like that 
Okay, if you give me a continue option, can let me continue from the checkpoint. Or give me an option to continue from the checkpoint. You saw me, what did I do wrong there? Okay, uh, I fell into the water. I'm expecting a death so I can restart from the checkpoint. And he's just stuck there and I can't move. So that was a bug, there was a glitch. They, uh, it bugs me, that bugs me. That uh, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, and I'm not gonna go through the entire level right now. I mean, I just wanted to get like an, a, a first hour look of the game and I got it. And it's extremely hard. I mean, I, say, I can't say extremely hard. It's hard, it's tough. Uh, I did enjoy the platforming in this game. The guy, the kid's got this weird floaty jump. I don't know how it gels with me because it doesn't look right to me. And certain times you'll try to jump over a monster, right? And because it's a floaty jump, you have to hold the button. If you just press it, it just jumps up and falls back down. And the my perception of how far he can jump is is it's weird because on a straight horizontal plane, you, he's always going to jump at the same distance, but if it's on an angle or an incline, it's going to be an awkward jump. And you saw there a couple times, this enemy, this weird looking goblin or sorry, imp enemy was trying to come and at, coming at me from an incline. And I tried to jump over it and I couldn't do it because it, it just doesn't work. The jump isn't like, it, it's affected by inclines. Okay, so that is interesting and also I guess a little bit frustrating because I don't know there's like this game it doesn't give you an option of doing things in multiple ways it's got to be specific and very meticulous there are only a few ways to do specific like oh sorry there's only like one set path and you got to do it exactly right or you're gonna get it wrong I don't know I feel like I guess in a platformer it makes sense but I feel like give us one or two extra options you know what I mean at least one extra option because I don't know I don't know how I feel about that. We got a couple powers with this kid uh, because the story is that his um, his entire village falls into a coma. He's the only one who didn't, so he heard about a story about Lady Death, who could probably resolve this problem. It's fantastical. It's mystical. It's got that mystical vibe to it, and so he gets these powers. He acquires these powers throughout the game. Number one, he gets the what is it the sh the you go through this different dimension and you you know you see things differently like if say if you go to a bridge and it the bridge is cut off but if you go to the other dimension the bridge is there and you can jump on the bridge and get to the other side and then close that and go come back to the real dimension to go through or you can use it to solve puzzles it's very clever i like the switch mechanic because uh, there was that one moment where you hit the first switch with the with your clone so clones another ability and um, when you get to the second switch, you gotta like you, you couldn't see the second switch, and you had to use the you had to go to the other dimension, hit the switch in order for you to erase the platform. I think uh, mixing these powers here and there could lead to some really really interesting puzzles, and there were some interesting puzzles already that I saw. So kudos to the Warsaw Studios for that, and Warsaw Games for that. Um, the Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the graphics because I, I feel like it needs to be stressed on, okay? Number one, I, I, I'm not criticizing the graphics for, you know, oh look, you know, it looks it has shitty graphics. No, it, it's got an interesting character design, an art design, a visual design. My problem with it, the brightness, okay? Some areas in the game are extremely pitch black. Like, it's hard to differentiate between a chasm and a rock. Sometimes you could just, sometimes there's this dark, like you're going to, okay, you're going through an area or a forest, and then there's a chasm there, right? And it's, it's marked, like it's it's colored black, like pitch black. Uh, sometimes a light, lightish black, whatever you want to call it. But then that same color can be interpreted for a rock, because I came across a rock or some giant pillar, and it had the same color and design, as this chasm and that really confuses you and throws you off and it, it's hard to see what is what like it's hard to perceive what is the what is a rock or what is a tree or what is a tree stump what what is a ledge that I can jump onto because everything's just black and white there's no extra colors to it there's no there's a different variancy there's different contrast to the you know the uh, the white you know the white hues and black strokes here and there but in essence, it's black and white, and then 
when, of course, when you go into the other dimension, you have the orange, and you got the little bit of red, a little bit of yellow. That's great. That's amazing. I wish it was switched over, where it's like yellow and black, red and orange all the time, and then when you hit into go into the extra dimension, it's black and white. Uh, because most of the time, most of the deaths I had early on was because I couldn't see what I was going through. Or I couldn't see what what was coming at me, or what couldn't see what the next area was or next ledge was, and that is the biggest problem with this game right now. And also brightness. I'm look. I'm going to the options right now. Why don't I have an option to increase the brightness? Because oh my god, I I wish there was a setting for, to increase the gamma settings. Because there are certain moments where I had to like squint at my TV to see if that was a trap, or that was some kind of spike, or that was some kind of chasm or a rock. And when a game makes you do that, I think it loses the fun factor. And that's my problem with it. And early on, I had real problems with it. Because the first level is the forest. And it is just dark. It's just depressingly dark everywhere. Where the second level, oh, much better. There was white everywhere, so you can clearly see what you're doing. There's still certain moments where, you know, you can easily get screwed over. But that first level, man, it's just... Just give us the option to tweak the brightness on our own. Because... It's a added. It's it's a nice added bonus, and then, and also uh, the controller support. It said X to jump, but I'm pressing X on my um, PS4 controller and wouldn't jump. It was square. The controller support is a little wishy washy here and there, and it's a bit iffy. But other than that, it's it's a decent game. I'm not sure how much it's priced. I didn't check it, um, but it's still a month away, and it says game and development version 0.72. I'm going to play 0.7.2, okay, whatever. Uh, I'm still going to be playing a little bit more. If you guys want to see more, please do let me know. I can cover it throughout the month until its release. I can probably do an entire playthrough of it. Uh, it's it's up to you guys what you want to see, but Warsaw, St Warsaw Studios, if you're hearing this, please, you had a whole month left, add the gamma settings, uh, you know, into the options menu. Fix the controller um, inputs because I couldn't press options to get the, um, the main menu up there. I had to press R2 to get the main menu up and that doesn't seem right to me. And triangle with the, because it says you have to press triangle to use the clone power, that works fine. But the square for jump doesn't make sense. For me, X is always jump. Please fix that. Um, options or start menu, start, fix that, not R2. And that everything was working fine, perfectly. Um, and if please, please, you know, add a little bit more variancy to the color range when it comes to the black and white, because the first level is just super dark. And the f okay, you see how it's looking right now? The screen, there's no flickering. There's no that black filter where it, the black lines go through, and, and, and that filter is not there, and it looks great. But then when you're playing the game, the black filter's there, and it it. it it just flickers left, like back and forth sometimes, and sometimes it just throws you off from the game. Like I'm not focused at the game anymore. I'm focused at this flickering thing, and it, it, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's necessary. Just remove that, and it'll, the game will look overall better. Here, I'm gonna continue to explain what I mean. Okay, you see this black filter you're giving? It's like it keeps flickering and it keeps flashing. I don't like that. It, to certain people, it's really annoying and it's just aggravating. It's not necessary. If you remove that completely, this game would look infinitely better, in my opinion. And I know you're going for this very specific set, uh, what is it, visual design, but give us the option, us, the players the option, whether we want this filter or not, because for me, half the time when I'm moving the character and that flicker goes off, I close my eyes because it hurts, okay? Maybe for some people it doesn't hurt, but for people who don't like seeing that kind of stuff, I close my eyes and then I'm like, oops, I fell off. Well, what do I do? I died. I gotta redo that. And it's just added frustration. Please remove that and, you know, it would be much better. That's just why my, what my huge criticism right now. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for uh, Dream Alone. What an interesting take. What an interesting game. Um, I can't wait to see what else is, sto is in store in the game. What else I can do in the game. What other puzzles there are in the game. Um, yeah, that's pretty much my impressions for Dream Alone. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please do let me know if you guys want me to continue this as a playthrough. Thank you again to Mikael from 
bat.games or sending me a code through keymiller.co, sorry, whatever, you know, the keymiller system. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'll see you guys next time. And as always, take care, guys.